This is AliExpress dropshipping tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will be showing to you how you can easily use this is for AliExpress dropshipping. So first of all, what is this is? This is is another AliExpress dropshipping tool that you can use for your e-commerce. It can be for your Shopify store, for your WooCommerce or Wix store. So here you can make use of this software for you to find a product and easily move the product from this series to your online store in just one click. So why are you going to use this series and why not AliExpress? So as you can see, the information here in this series and AliExpress are the same. The price are also the same since product that you can see from these stores are also product from AliExpress. However, as you can see here from these stores, it has a tool that you can move the product easily from these stores to your online store. And also from AliExpress, they have a lot of product and a lot of suppliers here and other supplier are not able to ship to your location or cannot process any order from your location or to the customer's location. But here in this series, all the information here that shows up or all the product here can be shipped international. And also, one thing that I like about this search is that once you found a product here and move it to your store, it automatically creates a product page as well. It's less hassle in your end because there's no need for you to create a product page on your own manually because this search will automatically do it for you. So here to start, you just need to log in or you just need to create an account if you don't have an account yet. It's super easy to create an account here. You just need to click try it free and then you just need to provide your email and then, okay, let's just wait and then just create your own password and then just create an account and once you provided this information, then you just need to connect your online store so you need to first make sure that you already created your online store it can be from shopify from woocommerce or from wix so here let me just go back to the home page and let me log in to my account so just give me a moment so here I already log into my account and this is your main dashboard. So as you can see here, you have your supplier, the AliExpress. And here you can find the product that you like. So you just need to search here or enter here the keyword of the product that you would like to sell in your online store. So for example, let's search for mini dress. So here's the result for the mini dress that we search. So you just need to look for the product here and of course with a low price. And once you find the product that you like, then you can just click this one here to add it to your list. So add to import list. And let's just stay. All right, let's find another one here. Let's say this one. Also, let's stay. Also, this one. Let's add it. And then once you added all the product that you like, then you can go to your import list here. It's where you can see all the product that you selected or that you added to your list. So here are the items that I selected here and added it to my list. So I will just go ahead and select here the product that I like to add. I already added some of this product in my online store. So let's say I will add this three also. So I just check these three items and over here you have your option to push to Shopify since the online store that I connected to my D series is my Shopify store but if you have a WooCommerce then it will show up here push to your WooCommerce or Wix store so you just need to click this push to Shopify and then with that it will be added to your 
online store but here you also have your pricing rule here so what is this uh, this pricing rule includes the pricing templates currency and the assigned cents if you check this box the pricing rule will be applied to your product prices according to the pricing rules you set in settings so it's just like the pricing rule that you set up in your account over here in Deezers. So for example, you will be putting a 10% markup to any product from Deezers or from AliExpress to your online store. So once this product imported to your Shopify store, then the 10% markup will automatically be added as the new price that will show up in your online store. So let's just click here push to Shopify for this one to be added and by the way if you like to set up or change your pricing rule then you can just simply go to your settings so here under your settings is where you can adjust your pricing rule so here just click pricing rule and here your store so here is my Shopify store so I will just go ahead and enable this one. So just give me a moment. And then here I can add the markup that I would like to add to all the products that I will be getting from Deezers to my Shopify store. So I can add here the amount that I would like to mark up or I can also uh, multiply them percentage to mark up to each of the product and after that you can also set up your shipping information here so that the product shipped to your customers will be your shipping address instead of your suppliers shipping information also the order here you can send a message to your supplier like i'm doing drop shipping please do not put any invoices qr codes promotion or your brand name logo in the shipments please ship as soon as possible for repeat business. Thank you. So this information, you can send this one so that the, your supplier will not include their shipping information when you are doing drop shipping so that you can add your personal information instead. And here you can set up your PayPal so that you can receive the payment from your buyer and also your shipping confirmation and set up your notification here for example for inventory get notified when product is out of stock or not available anymore for the price get notified when supplier price change on aliexpress and for any cancelled order so here you can also see your reporting so here is your sales report you can see everything here and also your open orders here you can track it so now let's check my website just to see if the product that we added has been imported to our Shopify store so I will click my store here and down here I can see the product that I added earlier so here you can see the price of the product also added here and when I click this product it has its own product page so you can see here the information of the product the colors available the description and everything so it's less hassle in your end because there's no need for you to create a product page to each of your product because these search will automatically provide it to you the product information which is really awesome so I guess that's all for today's video. So I hope you like this video. And if you have any question, just comment down below. And thank you so much for watching.